into doing our bit and today we're going to look at loft insulation. Obviously you could get this done professionally and if you're doing that probably the spray foam uh, solution is the way to go today but assuming you're like me that you're actually got some existing insulation it's probably it's not up to current standards. The current recommended level of insulation you need is 27 centimeters. Approximately 25 percent of the heat loss of your home will be through your roof so it really does make sense to improve the insulation and it's likely that you've probably got boards on top of the joists which means that obviously there's a limitation to how thick the insulation is and it certainly won't be anywhere near 11 inches or and also you'll have just the fundamental problem just too much stuff in the attic and that was really my first problem I was also looking to how I could actually keep the temperature of the attic as low as possible which is why I actually started to put this reflective stuff on underneath the roof. So you can see me now actually putting this up and it was a, it was a bit of fun. And this is not only improves insulation actually within the roof space, but it also helps to reflect some of the heat out so that the space doesn't get too hot. And the main reason for me for doing this was the fact that um, up in the attic I currently have an inverter and a battery. The next thing I needed to do was actually get the existing boarding up and look to put these new plastic posts that you just put between the joists and that allows you to then put the insulation between it and then put the, the boards back down so you've then got the required depth of insulation. I also purchased a thermal leak detector, a Black & Decker tool which actually helped me to actually have a look at the existing roof space and see exactly what the difference in temperatures were across the, the roof and it was quite substantial as you can actually see here. I use rock wool to actually add the extra additional insulation on top of what we already had. Though this is much better than the old fiberglass, I still recommend wearing a, a mask as you can see me doing here, just because you really don't want any of that into your lungs. Given we have the leakiest uh, house stock in Europe, it's certainly worth investigating if you're going to start from scratch and get this done professionally what grants actually are available to actually fund this because it certainly does make a difference certainly if you're doing it yourself like I, myself this is a fair bit of work and I would spread it over a reasonable amount of time and also try not to do it in the middle of summer as well because obviously it would get really hot up there the main thing is actually the, the clearing out so that you're actually able to get up there and work Although they don't recommend using your attic spaces for storage, in a small house, frankly, this isn't possible. So this idea of putting little shelves up above the insulation really works well. I can recommend it. It's, it's, it's a job, but it's definitely a job worth doing. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful and maybe a reminder of something you need to do. And if so, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.